Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to share a few updates from the Mighty Garage as it's been a little while since we met face to face. And so working on a few projects, the Rapide's back on the bench, nothing wrong with it. It just was covered in oil and grease and dirt after that silly April Fool's ride that I did a couple of weeks ago. I hope you enjoyed that and thanks a lot for all your feedback. Yes, yeah, so I've been cleaning this up what seems like for a couple of days and then working on a few other little jobs while I've got it on the bench and somewhat disassembled. And I'll explain what I've been doing again in an upcoming video on the repeat. But more importantly, this video is actually sponsored by Heidenor Tires. And so as I turn my attention to the Triumph Bonneville, I've been having some problems trying to find classic tires for the bike. John and the team at Heidenor very kindly reached out and they sent a couple of tires and inner tubes and rim strips for the bike. I'm really grateful to them for that. I've not used Heidenor tires before on my British bikes. I see them a lot on the German bikes like the BMWs and the Italians and Japanese bikes, but I haven't actually seen them on many, if any, British bikes. So I thought, let's see how they look. And they look great. I'm particularly impressed by the classic style, the tread pattern and the vintage classic look that the tyres have. Yeah, these tyres are from what they call their vintage collection uh, for classic bikes. And they look really authentic, of course, using modern and new materials as well. And so they're fitted on the bike now. I fitted both the front and the rear tire with some coaching from my friend, Jeff. Initially, I thought I would go for the K34 models on both the front and the rear, but actually the guys at Heidenau, they recommended a K44 on the front and a K36 on the rear. So I'll leave a link in the description to Heidenau and specifically these classic style tires, which look great. I didn't balance the front rim yet, but I did try and balance the rear one. I removed the rim locks from the rear wheel and then replaced the holes in the rims that the rim locks make just with a couple of nuts and bolts and making sure that there were no sharp edges on the inside to puncture the inner tubes. And then there's the rim band and then the tires went on without any problems really. I mean, it's never an easy job to do, but they went on just fine. And then the rear wheel itself didn't actually need balancing. It was very nice and true. The front one, I still have to check that once we've had a longer ride on the bike. And talking of test rides on the Bonneville, that's what this video is about. It's testing the bike for the first time. And I hope you'll enjoy this video. Well, this will just have to be a brief test ride because I don't know if you saw that fuel is just pouring out so I've turned the gas taps off just flood it a little bit more fill the bulge I mean oh look at that it's not here on this one it's there where it's crimped on this particular side very frustrating and then on this side I think it's this crimp and no no uh, dripping there as soon as I turn it on it starts to drip and a lot as well so when I just let I'll do what I can time for a test ride and I also haven't synchronized the carburetors either oh, 
Here it goes. Probably run out of gas by the end of the street. Hey! The first test ride. Come out of gas. Refueling on the fly. <laughs> Tons of fun. But I think this is it for now. Guys, I'm sorry it's a bit short. Haven't even got into third gear yet. Front mud guard needs adjusting as well. It's not it's not very straight. Hey! We did it! Oh lots of fuel. Well thanks a lot guys. Next time we have a video I'll take it for a longer ride. That's it for now. See ya. So we're back in the garage after the test ride, guys. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I was a bit frustrated. I couldn't go a little further, but I just didn't want to risk it with those fuel pipes leaking so badly. So speaking of which, uh, they're still on the bike. I took them off just temporarily and played around with the spigots and the ferrules. And that might be the answer. I haven't tested it again since, but I reached out to the supplier who recommended that just move things around a little bit and rather than fit from the banjos first to the pipes where they go into the, the fuel tank, actually do it in the reverse. And so fit at the fuel pipe first of all and then fit the banjos at the carburetors last. So I've done that, I've got my fingers crossed and we're going to try that again and see if that works. Um, if not, I'll just simply replace these clear plastic pipes because they seem to be a little hard. I know they're brand new, but they're a little hard and inflexible. And I think what's happening is the spigot, the elbow on the spigot is getting jammed up inside those pipes and creating a gap where the fuel's coming out. So I'll give you an update on that later, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll speak to you again next week. Okay, see ya.